my name is Adrienne and I make what's for dinner videos here on YouTube. If you need dinner ideas and dinner motivation to cook for your family, hit that subscribe button. I got you covered. This week I have four delicious, easy, budget-friendly recipes starting out with a blackened chicken salad. I am going to show you all the seasonings I use to blacken my chicken. I've got pepper, salt, ranch seasoning mix, granulated garlic, um, smoked paprika, cumin, and in this little container right here is some chili powder. I'm going to heavily season both sides of some chicken breast. I'm going to heat up some olive oil in a cast iron skillet, really brown it on both sides, and then to let it finish cooking, I'm going to add a splash of chicken stock and make sure the internal temperature of the chicken reads 165. And then I'm going to cut up a whole bunch of veggies I have in my house, some romaine lettuce, cucumber, carrots, some alfalfa sprouts, and I'm going to use a delicious creamy cilantro dressing and this was our dinner and bonus kid score both of my kids actually tried the chicken so I call that a win The next meal I have for you is ground beef grilled stuffed burritos. I love this meal because I had meal prepped this ground beef a couple weeks previously, so all I had to do was pull it from my freezer and defrost it, add my taco seasoning mix and my water, and then I'm going to stuff the burritos with a little bit of ground beef and cheese for my husband, and then take some um, avocado spray and spray down my pan and grill the burritos and then I'm taking this little packet of taco sauce and I'm going to warm it in my microwave and then top the burritos with this kids score my kids tried the ground beef they didn't really like it but my daughter ended up eating some of a flour tortilla so they had food in their bellies I call that a win My next meal is my version of French onion chicken. I love all the flavor combinations in this. It has a lot of herby deliciousness with some garlic and white wine. I'm using some chicken, Parmesan cheese, uh, chicken stock. Actually, I didn't end up using the chicken stock. I only ended up using the beef consomme, so scratch that. One onion, I've got some thyme, parsley, and oregano. I'm going to melt some butter in a cast iron skillet, add my onions and my thyme, and I'm going to let those cook down for about 25 to 30 minutes until they're nicely browned and then I'm going to add my garlic quickly and then I'm going to remove that and season up my chicken. I'm using seasoned salt and pepper, ranch seasoning mix, and then I'm going to brown that in my um, olive oil until it's nice and crusty and golden brown and it gets a really great crust because I add about one tablespoon of this flour and I cook that down until it's totally cooked through and then I'm going to add my onions and my beef consomme and then on the side I served it with a little bit of white rice 
with a little bit of herbaceous parsley and green onion on top and this was my favorite meal of the week it was so good so savory i highly recommend i'll have my recipe in the description box below My last recipe for you this week is a creamy garlic chicken and this was so good as well my husband really liked this meal I think it was his favorite bonus my kids actually ate the chicken my daughter actually likes chicken that's cooked in cream of mushroom soup so um, mm -hmm. she was really excited to have this meal I seasoned it up with some of this Malibu seasoning that we got and then I added my garlic and my thyme and then a splash of white wine I add my um, cream of mushroom soup on top and then I bake it in a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes until the internal temperature of the chicken reads 165. To make this a really easy meal, I heated up a can of green beans and also did some easy stovetop stuffing. I swear stovetop stuffing gets a bad rap because it's so good and I loved it. And this was our meal and that's it for my week of what's for dinner. I hope everybody is staying happy, healthy, and safe. I hope you're getting some good dinner ideas and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in my next next one. Bye guys.